Greetings and salutations. This is David Duford at BuyLifeInsuranceForVarial.com where I help people like you find affordable life insurance for yourself or for a loved one. In today's video, I am doing a deep dive detailed review of Globe Life Insurance. Most likely you're here today because you are considering buying a life insurance plan either for yourself, your loved ones, maybe your kids or a spouse or perhaps even a parent and you've seen advertisements from Globe Life Insurance repetitively through the years, usually through the mail, and you're wanting to know if Globe Life Insurance really is the best route to go to purchase a personal life insurance policy. So if that is what you think and why you are here, then I assure you that these answers and questions you have will be answered, and you'll know a lot more about the product and be able to make a much better decision if what Globe Life Insurance does actually makes sense for what you're looking to accomplish. So let's get started. So quick overview of what to expect today. I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself and what I do in my business to help people like you. I'm going to give you just a quick overview of Globe Life Insurance uh, as far as what they do and how they find customers and kind of their more or less their practices for generating business. And then I'm going to talk about what their offers are and when we look at what their offers are, we're actually going to go to their website, look at their products, uh, go through a process of filling out an application just to so, show you uh, what the options would be if you decided to apply with them. We're going to talk about what product is best suited for each individual person depending on what it is that you're looking to accomplish. So Globe has uh, several particular products. We'll look at both of them and then uh, better define if it's a good idea or not and let you decide if that fits you. And then we'll look at alternatives the Globe Life Insurance. And then lastly, I'll give you my final thoughts on uh, overall how I feel about it and what I would recommend. My name is David Duford. I am the owner and founder of BuyLifeInsuranceForBurial.com. Uh, what I do is specialize in helping people across the nation with life insurance needs, whether they're looking for life insurance on themselves or perhaps a loved one and they want to find out what all the facts are and would prefer to do business with somebody who understands the market and has been doing it for a long time. I've been licensed since 2011, uh, exclusively selling life insurance and have helped over 3,000 families uh, with their life insurance needs from all walks of life. I'm also a published author. You can see one of my books below. It's the Official Guide to Buying Final Expense Life Insurance. Again, it's designed to help people uh, make a decision on what kind of final expense life insurance plan would work best for them. Uh, I'm also a uh, insurance agency owner. I work and train uh, agents across the country in their own communities to help people face to face. So I understand how to help agents become successful uh, in this business and help people like you. Last but not least, I'm married, have been for almost 10 years now, and uh, we're expecting our fourth child on the way. So wish us luck. So let's talk about Globe Life. So Globe Life, uh, it's hard not to, uh, it's hard to miss, right? Uh, if you receive the paper for years or if you peruse the internet or watch TV or if you're over more likely 40 or 45, you're probably constantly getting Globe Life insurance advertisements weekly, maybe monthly, and it might be driving you nuts and you wonder how many trees they've uh, spent on sending you junk mail, but that's what they do. Globe Life primarily operates from direct to the consumer, which means there's not really any agents directly out in the field selling Globe. They do a direct mail order type of life insurance product. What they're most notable for, if you can recollect their advertisements, you'll see the $1 buys you so much coverage. In fact, as we'll look through the website, you're going to see the same thing. Uh, that's kind of their shtick. Uh, hey, start for a cheap price uh, just to get you in the door, to get you covered, and then we'll go up to the normal prices. So uh, let, again, let's go into specific offers that Globe has as far as life insurance goes. So again, we can just recap uh, what they do, how it works, and then um, actually take you through uh, what to expect. So Globe Life offers two particular type of life insurance products you've probably seen uh, many, many times. First is the term life insurance product for adults. The second is the whole life insurance for children. So what we're going to do is, is start by uh, describing the product a little bit more in depth and then I'm gonna like I said take you through the website look at the application process and, and then take a look at some of the fine print so you can learn better <clears throat> about how these particular programs work so 
Here's the thing with term insurance, and it's important to understand this, and I'll validate all this here in a minute. And this is true for Globe, this is true for any company that offers term. Term is short for terminating life insurance. The concept behind term life insurance is simple. It is pure insurance. There's no cash value. There's no underlying account. The, the idea behind it is that if that you die within the period of time that the term is in a force or in effect, whatever the amount of coverage on the books is will pay out to your beneficiary. The problem with term insurance is that it's only good up to a certain point. And all the money you put into it, if it's designed like this, is designed just to put in, be put in the pockets of the insurer. If you outlive it. You don't die when you're supposed to. <laughs> you don't have coverage anymore. Well, you die, end up dying outside of the term too bad. The company has no obligation to pay up. And with Globe, they have this interesting thing called a five-year price increase ban. So what that means is that when you first start with a Globe policy, you will have either a first period of one to five years where you won't have a price increase. And then they go up every five years thereafter. So, for example, 65, 70, 75. And the price increases start to ratchet up very, very high. And my experience has been, and this is no testament against that, that I'm not saying Globe Life is a bad product per se, but I've had clients who are on a fixed income. And it starts affordable when they're in their early 60s, but they get to their early 70s or mid-70s, and that price has gone up. And they're just not sure they can pay it anymore, or if it's even a good value to pay it. So I mention all this because this is the reality a lot of people face is their social security doesn't go up as fast as the globe life. Plus, uh, you could outlive it, and that's no good either. Bottom line, it cancels at 80. So you have the real risk of not having coverage when you most need it. So this is all things I'm telling you about how it works. What I want to do is show you how it works so you can see this for yourself. I think that's the best way to convince yourself of whether or not the product is sensible for you or not. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take you off of the screen. We're going to go right to their website, and uh, we're going to uh, browse around, show you around, look at fine print, so you can analyze this stuff for yourself. So hang tight for just a second. Okay, so I am on uh, Globe Life Insurance's website, and you can see right there at the top, the $1 buys $50,000 uh, <laughs> uh, offer. You know, that's pretty much their standard um Offer. So what I've done here, just so you understand, is I'm going to uh, go through this process of, of requesting information so you can see what, what happens. Uh, this is just uh, some random information. I'm just like you. I just filled out a bunch of fake stuff. I don't want them sending me junk mail. Mickey Mouse, of course. Let's click Submit. What this does, it takes you to uh, what we call in the um, insurance business a lead generation screen. So they're asking me if I want to get children's insurance. We'll come back and take a look at this in a little bit. But we're just going to go click on no thanks. And then what should happen here is we get the opportunity to potentially apply online. So what we want to do is I do want to attempt to apply online just to show you this process. So we're going to click here for a free quote. And then um, this is just the process where we start to begin to buy adult life insurance. So right now again we're talking about the adult term life insurance. So let's click on one adult in Tennessee and then we're going to click continue. This brings us to our screen where we're going to begin to fill out the insurance application. Of course I'm applying as Mickey Mouse. Click continue and let me just go ahead and put in some uh, random birth dates. So this person 60 something. Okay. So this is where I want to be. One dollar buys Mickey's first month. So we get to see what at this particular age, I believe it is, it'll be 68 uh, for a male. Uh, what we're looking at for term life insurance coverage. So these rates don't look bad on their surface, except when we begin to analyze further how this particular plan works. So let's take a look at the policy description to start here. So you see down here in the corner, where it says, please click here to read the policy description. This is the smoking gun, I guess you can say. This is going to tell you everything you need to know about the product. I'm going to read it out to you. Policy description. This is a modified premium to term, premium term to age 80 product. That means it ends at 80. Further, 
The initial term period can be either one, two, three, four, or five years in duration, depending on issue age. This means that that first price you pay, for example, this 2540, will go up again at 71. So you've got so many years before that, so in this case, three years. And will be five years in length. Excuse me, all renewal term periods begin at a five year plus one age, so 21, 26, 31, 36, and will be five years in length except for the final term period. This final four year period, which will always begin at age 76, will expire and the policy will terminate at the policy anniversary following the insured's 80th birthday. So there you have it. So what this is saying here is that this is term insurance that has price increases, basically everything that I described. Um, now also, uh, just to point out, you've got also no medical exam, simple application. We're gonna take a look at the um, amounts of, of the health questions asked and then take a look there too as well. And we will come back to this, of course, and, and compare and contrast different options. So let's say that we want to buy uh, $20,000 in term insurance. And they ask if you want to buy accidental additional. I just choose no thing. Okay, so at this screen, we finally gotten to the point where we're looking at a few health questions and um, give you an idea of if they qualify or not. Now, one thing Globe does is, like a lot of term insurance or life insurance products, they have different ratings for the, for the level of health that you have. So you may qualify for their standard product. You may have rate increases depending on how you answer these questions. So notice it does say a yes response does not automatically make you ineligible for the product. What I can say is that pretty certain, now I'm not 100% sure, fairly certain, that a yes answer may increase the price at best case scenario. Whereas a worst case scenario, you may be declined. It just depends. So for example, start with the first one. Are you currently disabled due to illness confined to a hospital or nursing facility, or do you require the use of a wheelchair? Second question is a three year look back. In the past three years, has a proposed insured been diagnosed or treated by a member of the medical profession for cancer, coronary artery disease, or any disease or disorder of the heart, brain, or liver? Chronic kidney disease, kidney failure, muscular disease, mental or nervous disorder, chronic obstructive lung disease, that's like COPD, drug or alcohol abuse or hospitalized for diabetes, acquired immune deficiency syndrome, AIDS related complex, or test results indicating exposure to acquired immune deficiency syndrome. Does the proposed insured have any chronic illness or condition which requires periodic medical care or may require future surgery? In the past 10 years, has a proposed insured had his or her driver's license revoked, suspended, been convicted of a misdemeanor, or currently incarcerated? Does the proposed insured intend to replace or change existing life insurance? So we'll just make sure that there are no additional health questions here so we can continue to proceed. Let's click continue. So what will happen here at this point, once you submit your application and you set up your payment, then the next step is is that they will actually uh, uh, draft they will draft you but they will begin to underwrite your application this means that they check your medical history to make sure that it actually does work so um that is how the term insurance product works for the sake of putting this policy option together what i'm going to do here is just show you the um, 65 year old non-smoker rate so what we're looking here is for twenty thousand in term insurance for a male sixty-five non-smoker, it's sixty-four sixty-three per month. And then if we look at females, a sixty-five-year-old non-smoker for for these prices and coverages is what you see on the screen. So that's how Globe Life term insurance product works. This is a really good thorough overview of what to expect. Now at this point in the conversation, I'm just describing to you how the product works. There are some definite advantages you can find elsewhere with, what, with, with other products. I'm gonna save that analysis uh, momentarily. It's really important if you're looking for quality life insurance to consider a second opinion, much like you would if you were diagnosed with something and you weren't sure that doctor knew what he's talking about. You need to make sure you have somebody else take a look to give you their opinion on what could be changed and improved. So make sure you stick around that's coming momentarily and it's really important you listen to this because there are other products out there that I, I feel are gonna be a better use of your time and money.
So we'll get to those in a moment, but let's cover the uh, Globe Life Insurance children's whole life product. So they sell this a lot. And again, it's permanent life insurance. It does not cancel at a later date. Premiums never go up, can't cancel due to age or health. And again, it, it, it may not qualify because of the kid's health. So let's take a look at some uh, rates and coverage options available for, for kids. Okay, so we're back on the screen here and we're going to submit for information for the whole life for children product. So let's click submit. So we're gonna go down here this time and we're just gonna do one child and uh, go ahead and begin to process an application. Same exact process this time. So we're gonna put in Donald Duck's information. Click continue. Choose Don Donald Zinner, we'll make him a male. So he's gonna be born and he's gonna be five years old. So let's go ahead and put him down as 2013. Okay, so here is how these particular plans work. Now, the thing is, you'll notice there's no fine print pop-up box here because with whole life insurance, it's a very simple product. Uh, it's designed to build cash value as indicated and then you pay the same premium for the entirety of the product. And uh, for as long as it's paid, you have coverage for the amount that you have on them. I've always thought that their prices are pretty good here. It's a pretty standard product. There's nothing, there's nothing way off base here with how the product works. So let's just say we want to do a $10,000 plan. We're going to click choose. You can do accidental death. I mean, that's cheap. Um, I'd probably do that as a parent. It seems like a good deal. So I'm going to just throw that in there. It doesn't make any difference for our purposes. So I'm going to put in a number. So now we're on the health question screen. And these are very standard questions. Within the past three years, have there been any proposed insureds, meaning the kids had any chronic illness or condition which requires periodic medical care? Have the, any of the proposed insureds ever been medically diagnosed as treating or treated by a physician for AIDS? Will you replace the life insurance? Are you going to replace life insurance with, with this? So that's all you have to do in order to fill out the health questions. Let's just make sure, I believe that's the only three. Yeah, and then they give you a price, which for $10,000, of child's coverage with an additional $10,000 in um, premium is uh, 507, actually for that's two months at a time. That's, oh, that counts in the first month, that's right. Now let's take a look at, uh, make sure we cover everything here. This is your whole life insurance here. Uh, this just gives you how it works. Once approved, their benefits will never be reduced or canceled regardless of changes in health or occupation as long as the premiums have been paid on time. Your child's policy builds cash value for the future. No risk money back guarantee. Full coverage starts from the first day, so there's no waiting period with this particular plan, no medical exam, and um, pretty straightforward. So I like this product. I don't think there's anything particularly wrong with it. Uh, it's good price. Uh, it's got a permanent type of product to it. I'll show you some options that may be something you may want to consider alternatively uh, that are comparable to it and uh, you can make a determination if this is a good choice for you, if you feel like something else is as well. So let's talk about why people would want to purchase, and more specifically, why it would be appropriate in certain circumstances to purchase a particular type of globe life insurance policy. So let's talk with the term insurance product first in mind. So a lot of reason people I have experienced purchase a globe life product for their term insurance is because it, they're price conscious. They see this price that we saw, it's fairly competitive to a lot of the other stuff they'll see in the mail, which tends to be higher priced because it's whole life insurance instead of term. Whole life is usually a little bit higher. Uh, it's also um, has convenient amounts of coverage that for a lot of people are more easily affordable. So people on a fixed income are more attracted to Globe because it's less of an expense. And they want more than just plain old final expense coverage as well. Maybe they, maybe they just want it to be buried and they just get what they can for as affordable as possible. But then they also want to get maybe additional money left behind to kids or spouse and replace incomes and that kind of thing. Same thing with children's whole life. People just buy it because they feel protection is important in general and they want to protect their kids. Not, nothing complicated. They just feel that it's an important act to do. So let's talk about alternatives to Globe Life Burial Insurance. So the thing is with Globe Life, it's not the only organization to offer life insurance to seniors by any stretch. And you may want to consider the alternatives 
before making your decision. I'll back up and say, I mentioned seniors. This is true for anybody, as you could tell. Globe Life can offer insurance to people who are well under the senior age. And so the same applies to all of you. Look, buying permanent life insurance or a broker, an agent is one route that you can go as an alternative. And so let me explain some things first of all. So here's the thing. With a term life insurance plan, if you recall, term equals terminating. When you take this plan out, you're going to die at some point, and it may be after the policy cancels. Even more so, you may not be able to afford the price increases that come down the line, especially if you start older in life and you are in a senior age. And it may be in a position where you end up dropping this thing. It's a position you do not want to be in. And so what a good idea to do before committing to buying to a plan like Globe Life is to check a second opinion, such as myself. I'm a broker. And what that means, the pros to being a broker, is that I shop around to try to find you the best price and the best coverage. I don't deal with one particular company. My commitment is to finding an insurance policy that's actually going to give you the best value of coverage and price so that you can get the most death benefit and also pay the least expense possible uh, at, with the combination of that, assuming we can get you qualified. So there's really no cons to this approach. I work with very uh, brand name companies that you've all heard of, and many times the rates tend to be tremendously better. And the reason I'm bringing up permanent life insurance is because uh, I want you to consider permanent life insurance. I'm gonna show some term life insurance options as well. Being that most people buy Globe Life because they're price sensitive, and they want to make sure that they get the most bang for their buck, uh, they will buy a term insurance product. But there's inherent problems, as we saw, right? You have price increases coming down the line. You've got a potential point in the future where you're going to get canceled. And it's better, in my opinion, to buy a permanent plan if you're looking for a final expense type of policy sooner in your life than later. So let's look at some price comparisons just to show you the difference that it's not too stark of a contrast between pricing that, yeah, you may have to pay a little bit more, but you have the long-term certainty that if you live a long life, you'll never outlive it and waste all the premiums not being covered because now you're canceled because you outlived the globe plan. Okay, so what we're looking at here is a 50, 65-year-old, $10,000 whole life permanent coverage where you cannot be canceled because of age or health, and if you qualified, you'd be first day full coverage, and the rates stay the same. So compare this to the last number we saw. So for the upper 40s to low 50s, you're comparing approximately $34 a month to the Globe Life Insurance plan for $10,000, but on a term basis, and just for about $15 to $20 more a month, you can upgrade your plan and lock that premium in for the length of your life as long as you live. Now, one of the cons maybe initially to this type of approach is that you'll pay more up front, but you pay more up front to prevent a potential much larger loss or cost because you either can't afford the price increases later on or that you actually outlive the coverage. The other thing you've got to be aware of is that you may be in a circumstance where you can't even qualify for the coverage. So we're looking back on the screen here of health questions uh, for both adults, 65 year old male and female non-smoker. Now, for example, where you're going to find some difficulty in getting applications for coverage for, for example, is there's a three year look back on cancer, kidney problems, heart problems, and uh, potential diabetes issues. So, and again, like they said, just because you answer yes doesn't mean you'll be declined or ineligible, but you may pay a higher price. I work with companies that in many cases just have a two year look back, which means if you had something between two or three years ago, you may wanna try to apply with one of my companies, perhaps for a better price. So again, one of the things that you're realizing you're looking on here is the price you're being showed is for preferred. This assumes you have perfect shape, or you're in perfect shape. But there may be medications you're taking or uh, conditions that you've had that will cause a rate increase. And that's true for mine too as well, but I generally have a better, under, I, a better idea and understanding of what you're going to get approved for uh, because I work with different companies and we can look at a better idea of what the rates are gonna be. So now understand the important point and takeaway here is not to go into a detailed analysis of rates. I wanted to show you just how the price is compared. And you're definitely, if you buy a permanent plan, it doesn't matter if you're in your 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, you're gonna pay more for a permanent whole life insurance plan. And the reason is simple. It's because with whole life, you're buying guarantees. 
You're buying a premium that's fixed in price that never goes up. You're buying coverage that never cancels because of age or health. And ideally, you're going to get fully protected from the first day if you can qualify for it. So all of that is, is a better improvement upon the Globe Life product, which means if you think about it, it's just like buying a car with a warranty and upgrades in it. You're going to pay a little bit more. And that's the case here. My argument I make to people is that while you may pay more now, in the long run, you'll pay a lot less because you've locked in coverage. You don't ever have to worry about reapplying and potentially getting declined because your health changes or losing your Globe Life insurance because it's unaffordable, you're outlive it you eliminate all those costs down the line. And yeah, for a little bit more, which in many cases is just a couple of extra dollars a week, gives you a lot more peace of mind if you really consider it. Now, sometimes people who are looking at Globe Life really just want a term life insurance product. They're not necessarily thrilled about possibly buying something that um, is uh, you know, a whole life insurance product, that's fine. So what I'm gonna show you here is just com in comparison what else you could do if you just wanted, say, $25,000, $50,000 in term life insurance, and you wanted to get a lot of coverage, but you wanted to pay an affordable price for it. So again, we're gonna look at term life, we're gonna look at the prices that Globe would charge, again, and then we're gonna compare that to some other products, and then I'm gonna tell you one other huge benefit to buying a product through a broker like myself that's term insurance that you don't get with a Globe Life product. So stick around, let's take a look at that real quick. Okay, so I've pulled up quotes for $50,000 in term life insurance on a 65-year-old non-smoking female. And so what you're looking at is Globe Life's projected rate if you qualify for their, based on their health questions. So for $50,000, you'd be paying $94.01 a month. And again, to remind you guys that are reading through this or watching, you've got the uh, all renewal periods begin at a five year plus one age, which means that this is a premium increasing product that cancels at 80. So this price will continue to go up. Now compare this to what you could find through a brokerage through a quality company. What you're looking at here in front of you are three companies or three products from one company I really like called Sagicorp. For $50,000 in coverage for the same woman who's in perfect shape, who would be with Globe Life, instead of paying 94 and a penny, you could pay as low as $35.85 for $50,000. Now check this out. The great thing about these plans too, to even better than just the price, is that premium's locked in for the 15 years. So once you make it to 80, it's still the same price. Yeah, it ends. If you understand that, that's just the way term insurance works. But you can see that one of these plans are a much better use of your money if you can qualify. Now there's three different plans preferred plus preferred standard, and there's a rated, which would probably be a little bit higher. But even if you couldn't qualify for one of these three and had to go to a step up, it's very likely it's still gonna be under the price point that Globe Life is offering you, and you still get to keep the premiums in place. Because one thing we don't know when you apply is what the price increases are gonna be. And usually they're fairly substantial. You're looking at prices that increase at 66, 71, and 76, and they get pretty hefty as you get older, whereas with any of these plans here that we have, your premiums are locked in for those 15 years. The other thing we can do is that if you really want a term insurance, there are options to extend your term insurance beyond 65. So for example, we could go to 20 years potentially. So I'll just run a quick quote on that to show you the price difference. So yeah, just for a little bit more, maybe we could take you up to 20 years and have coverage till you're 85. Uh, it's get a little bit difficult uh, to get over 85, but we have products called Guaranteed Universal Life Insurance that will cover you beyond 85 that is more of a permanent type of product. So uh, again, let's take a look at the male prices here. Male 65 non-smoker with, with Globe Life for 50,000 is $156 a month. If we take a look at a male at 50,000 on a 15 year basis, just to get a good comparison. Again, we're looking at a stark contrast. Like you, you may pay as low as 51, 20 a month, maybe higher if you can't qualify, but even so, if it was even higher than the standard price and you're paying more like a rated case of 100, 120, you're still paying less and you've locked in your premiums for those 15 years. And same thing for males, we're looking at 20 years, we can do that as well. Okay, so last thing we'll look at very quickly is just some children's whole life comparisons as a broker. I actually feel like the Globe product is pretty good. It's just basic standard whole life insurance for kids, and it's very cheap. Um, 
what you're going to find is, is that most of what's out there is going to be comparable to what Globe charges. That's how I've experienced it in the field. So let me take off a screen here and I'll go ahead and show you uh, some prices just to compare. So here on the screen we're looking at, uh, I'll point out specifically Mutual of Omaha. If you like the company, their price point's almost identical to the product that Globe Life sells. Now one little uh, cool little thing you can do is what's called a limited pay plan. And so what this is is that is where you pay for a, a particular period of time and then in 10 or 20 years you get done paying and you never have to ever again. With whole life products for the most for most circumstances, you're going to be in a position where you pay this for life if you buy through Globe Life so your kid can pick it up, but they have to pay it if they want to keep it. There are plans out there. These aren't necessarily the ones I'd recommend, but they just demonstrate the point. If we look at Liberty Bankers Life, you can literally pay 15 bucks a month. Yeah, it's 10 bucks more, but in 10 years you'd be done paying it. So for around $180 a year or $1,800 in 10 years, your child will get a $10,000 death benefit and they never have to pay a premium ever again after those 10 years are up. This is what we call a paid up plan. Picture paying off your car, you still get to drive it after you pay it off, right? If you own it, that's the case, and that's how this is too. You actually own the life insurance. So you can get to an end point and your kid can run around with insurance and never have to pay a premium again and you never have to worry, should I go pick up another life insurance plan? So paid up plans are really cool. Uh, again, this is just a concept demonstration I actually uh, don't necessarily recommend these. There's probably better ones out there, but I just want to point this out as an alternative to paying on a children's whole life plan the rest of your life. I, I'm happy to run quotes for you, give you an idea of what your kid would qualify for. There's no usually no exams, it's pretty straightforward. So I'm gonna give you some final thoughts here, wrapping up this particular uh, comparison to the Globe Life Insurance term insurance, as well as the children's whole life insurance. The first thing I want to remind you is that this goal of this particular uh, analysis wasn't to give you a price guide for every single age. I could do that. It's pretty um, tedious to do it, to be honest with you, because the point in demonstrating this is I want to demonstrate just as a touchstone how this product works. You hopefully understand the, the basics of how it works now, but I also want to compare it to what the other options are out there. And by using just one price, I'm able just to show you an initial idea of the point I'm trying to demonstrate. And the point is that with Globe Life Insurance, you're paying a very large premium for a product that has price inc increases that may be inconvenient to you because there are other options you should be aware of, other options where there are no price increases within the term insurance, or you can get a long, longer period of time of a term insurance and pay substantially less if you qualify. If I were in your position, I would want to be informed of my options to see what's the best use of my money. Globe Life is a fine product. There's no criticism uh, from the standpoint of the company. The, on, the only criticism that I'm providing is that I believe it's important for the consumer to know their options, to make sure that they choose the best coverage overall based on their circumstances. And there's no better way than to compare and contrast and let the facts lie as they do. Uh, when I say lie, when the facts lay out as they do, so that you can make a determination of which works best for you. Same thing with the children's whole life. Great product they offer, it does a great job. I think it's a really important product to have. And that's why I showed the 10 pay, or the paid up type of plans, because a lot of people like the idea of, hey, I can pay this off and my kid will always have coverage and I don't have to worry about it. And for a small amount more, it's not something that's uh, entirely out of bounds to consider. So I hope you enjoyed this particular program here. The, the goal again today as we begin to, to wrap up is to give you the facts, to give you this information. And if you feel it's important to potentially qualify for something that I have to offer, maybe you're more attracted to these whole life insurance plans now that you've seen the price differential. Maybe you're just imp impressed by the, the, con the conceptual differences between whole life permanent protection and term insurance. You did, maybe you didn't know Globe Life was term insurance. Or maybe you did, but you want to get a better deal for what you are willing to pay. I highly recommend that you give me a call. Let me help you out with some options that are out there. Or just shoot me an email and let me show you what you may be able to qualify for to see if we can do a better job with the money you're willing to put into some insurance. So applying with my process is very simple. Uh, first, you just pick an agent. Of course, I'll nominate myself. 
uh, since I do this for a living. And then second of all, the process we would work through is that I would ask you a series of health questions. I would look at carriers that I think would be based best with uh, your particular circumstances. And of course, listen to what your goals are and then make a recommendation and a quote. Assuming you like the quote, if it makes sense, we'll begin to apply. That process typically requires no examination. Usually it requires an application, kind of like what we were looking at on Globe's website. Or it may be just a complete telephonic application where you have to, there's no paperwork or anything like that. And then after several days or several weeks, usually it's just within a couple of days, you, if you're approved, you get your coverage notified that you're approved. And then several weeks later, you get your policy and that's literally the end of the story. So here's what you need to do if you'd like the idea of potentially working with me to find you quality life insurance. If you're interested, go to my website. It's buylifeinsuranceforburial.com. Click the contact box at the top or go down to the bottom and click the message uh, chat box and send me a message. Let me run some quotes for you. Let me work with you. Tell me what you're looking for. Or just call me at 888-626-0439. Please leave a voicemail if you don't get me. I'm always on the phone all day. So you got to leave a message sometimes and I'll get back to you pretty quickly. And uh, other than that, I do hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment below if you liked it or if you found the information useful. My name again is David Duford at buylifeinsuranceforburial.com where I help people across the country with their life insurance needs on themselves or people they love. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.